My beautiful Libra friends, how are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome my friends. My name is Rhea and I do these readings every week. Now Libra, this is your reading for the month of April and what I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with an oracle card from the Guardian Angel Oracle deck. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you followed by a bonus card from the spirit animals oracle deck and then an angel number for you as well so those of you that are watching today if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today so stay tuned for all of this my beautiful friends all right libra let's call in spirit and open up your reading see what it is that spirit would like you to hear today all right, we are getting commitment. Libra, it's time for you to make a commitment in your life. So let's read the message on this card. When you make a decision, fully embrace it. Commit and take action with confidence and determination. Be open to adjusting your course along the way. But don't let doubt paralyze you, Libra. So commit yourself to a decision and follow through with it, all right? So this is your opening message. I'm gonna go ahead and pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through. All right, so. We are getting here for you seven of pentacles. So adjustments, course correction is what this card is about. Releasing things, letting them go, and then adding new things in place of that that are going to work for you better. I feel this is also a spiritual card for some of us, especially with the number seven tied to spirituality and wisdom. I feel there's wisdom coming through spiritual avenues, uh, Libra. So intuitive downloads, ancestral knowledge, Akashic records, all of this information is coming in for you through the Seven of Pentacles energy, okay? So Seven of Pentacles to start. We also have the Two of Wands. So the world is in your hands here, Libra. What is it that you want to create in your life right now? The power is yours, and this is what Spirit Guides are reminding of you, is that you are the co-creator of your reality. Spirit Guides and the universe work in your favor to create whatever it is that you desire. It's time for you to figure out what that is for yourself. Now, Libra, I want you to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen here, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So two of pentacles. We also have the seven of wands. So this is you standing in your integrity, standing your ground, and being strong and courageous when this is being tested or challenged, okay? This is going to be very important for some of you. And look at this. We have two number sevens. We have a seven of pentacles and a seven of wands. So there's definitely some spiritual growth here. You are actually going through a growth period in your life right now, Libra. So any kind of challenging situations being thrown out of your comfort zone, it's because you are evolving. It's because you are growing. Okay. So the seven of wands here. Now, before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you, Libra. So those of you that are watching today, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. All right, I've got my little uh, birdie friend coming in to deliver a message here. So, okay, thank you so much. 
All right, so my little birdie friend wanted to just remind everyone to open yourselves up to spirit, to allow them to channel energy through you so you can see some of the signs that are coming through for you. There's a lot of communication happening. This is actually happening for a lot of the signs, well, every single sign out there in the world. So pay attention to the things that are coming into your awareness here, Libra. All right, so spiritual growth is happening here. Some of you are acquiring your superpower. Some of you are learning how to wield the ones that you already have. Okay, this is kind of what I'm seeing here through this overall reading. And through you making edits and adjustments, you're going to see which direction you need to move and actually have the courage to move towards it, but also create some healthy boundaries. So if you're feeling tested or challenged, you're able to withstand that energy from others and um, so the seven of pentacles energy is all about releasing and letting go taking a deep dive of your life doing a review and kind of taking inventory and just clearing house here this is what spirit guides want you to do is clear house get rid of things that no longer serve you just get rid of them they're like get rid of them some of you are like oh i don't know if i want to get rid of this maybe i can use this in a couple months and and it just kind of goes on and on and on I'm getting a hoarding energy a little bit here so um that is coming through what else is this there's something else they're trying to share with me here it's not coming in clearly so i'm just going to wait for that to kind of uh take shape here in my mind now the other thing is taking in knowledge uh, the more that you know, the more power that you have, Libra. So reading books, getting knowledge around something that you are good at, but you want to get great at. Some of us already, well, all of us are gifted. And you might be thinking, well, I don't know what my gifts are, right? Um, but we are all gifted. You might be good at baking. Perhaps you're good at math. Maybe you're good at building things, whatever it is for you these gifts are meant to be strengthened so the more that we can take that gift and master it this is where you become powerful and you're able to wield your power in the world and what i feel that's happening here with the seven of pentacles because there's some spiritual growth in the background this is tapped to your superpower so the superpowers that you have acquired over the course of your life here libra you're meant to actually activate them you're meant to actually use them and wield them in your life um, because these are going to get you to acquire even more superpowers, right? So it's about getting knowledge, mastering it. So for example, if you're blessed with numbers, you just understand numbers, you know, math, perhaps enhancing this and mastering this, maybe diving into numerology or using numbers in some way, shape or form in the world, right? To get ahead. And I feel this is where you are going to see that you're getting ahead because you are unique and there's some power about you that nobody else in the world has but you. And this is coming through the seven of pentacles for me today for you. Now, the other thing happening here is um, releasing and letting go of relationships that no longer serve your higher purpose. Now, this is just the energy in the air. There is a shedding that is happening for a lot of us. So a lot of it's going to have to do with relationship, expired relationships that no longer serve your higher purpose. These are relationships that put you down, that you don't feel good around, or having some healthy boundaries where you limit the amount of energy you bring into your life around these expired relationships, Libra. So there's a major house cleaning that is happening in your life, energetically and even physically, like in your personal life. Like you're, you could be literally cleaning your home out, spring cleaning time, right? So this is happening here for some of you. And through this, this is where you're going to see that growth and expansion. I feel you're different. Um, you're in a different level, like a different energy, a different frequency. And because it's different, now you're being put into alignment with these things. And you have to allow these changes and these things to shape take shape because you don't want to remain in the same energy that you were in already so you have to allow yourself to ascend so let things break and fall away here and doing a, a necessary cleanup yourself taking the initiative to do that okay now the other thing is the two of wands now balance is going to be very important for you as you make decisions and choices in your life in the month of april uh, libra 
because I feel the direction that you're moving in, you're aligned to your dreams. You are aligned to that big wish. Where is it that you're wanting to go here, Libra? Have that vision very clear in your mind. Use your imagination to put yourself in that place. Who are you and what are you doing there? This is after your wish has come true. So whatever, whenever I'm, when I first started my YouTube channel, what I dreamed about before even knowing that I was even going to do YouTube was I imagined myself working from home with my husband. This is the vision I had. I didn't know how I was going to do it. I didn't know what was going to happen. But here we are in front of you today with my tarot channel. I didn't know this two years ago, two and a half years ago that I was going to be doing this. It was just a dream in my mind to work from home. So it shows up, it's going to show up in a way that you're not expecting and in a way that is more aligned to what it is that your purpose is. It's aligned to your heart. So believe in that power. So imagine, write your, your dreams down, believe that they're real because they are, you are linked to them. So all the choices and decisions that we make, the path that we have already carved out for us is there, right? There's one line, but the paths that we, paths that we can take that are in front of us are a gazillion. And there's one string, one line that is attached to your dream. And this is the guidance that spirit guides bring in is to keep you on that line and that path because everything is interconnected. You can go which way you want, but the alignment is happening for you right now. This is what I feel and tuning out some of that noise, protecting yourself from outside energies because of Mercury retrograde, because of solar eclipse. Solar eclipses bring in harvest, I feel like. It brings in abundance. The seeds that we have sown, we're going to see some of those bearing fruit, right? So this is the energy, but it depends on the lens that you're wearing and how you're seeing your world. If you choose to wake up through a positive lens, you're going to see positive things happening. You're going to be more in alignment with this energy of the two of wands. If you're in a place of negativity, then you struggle a little bit more. So you want to make sure that you're waking up positive Libra, clearing your mind of any kind of thoughts that are making you not feel good. Okay, because these can show up physically for us as well. Um, I'm seeing travel in the cards for you as well. So some of you might be traveling in the month of April. I do feel this is going to be an opportunity for you to really expand, um, make some connections here as well. But remember with traveling, Mercury retrograde, things can be delayed. There could be miscommunications. Things just happen. So again, that balanced energy that comes from the number two uh, in numerology is about balance. It's about harmony, right? Bringing yourself, centering yourself, bringing yourself to a place of balance. So that way you can see things clearly. Breathing through it, through patience and calm. Yes, these things are going to happen. Expect them to happen, but do not give them a reaction. Instead, walk through this energy with patience and calm, okay? And yes, these delays, these things can happen. We don't need to freak out. We just keep ourselves calm and just flow with it. All right, be patient here. Patience is going to be key. Now we've got the seven of wands energy. I feel this has to do with the amount of energy you're putting out there, Libra, and the out of amount of energy that is coming towards you. So you want to make sure that you are recharged. You want to stay recharged and bursting with light right now. So what I've been saying to every sign is stay in your lane this month. You worry about your own energy and not of others at this time because there's a reactive energy out there that wants to react with everything. Internal energy that you're feeling that might be reactive. If you're feeling emotions sometimes get high and you might say things that you're, you know, you might regret later. These are the things that you want to hold on to. You want to try to avoid being in a situation that might put you in a place where you're having to react like that. Um, just being aware of your own self. No is a complete sentence. So if there's an invite and you're kind of feeling this energy of, you know, I don't know if this is going to be a good idea. The minute that you even feel that, you stay home. Libra. Um, and this seven of wands, it's just... There's so much. It's like static. It's like headbutting. It's like magnets, but reverse magnets. It's just an interesting energy. So just being watchful and aware of it, not interacting with it. This is a really good month for some of us. It's not hibernation mode, but it's almost like let's kind of stay in our own lane, stay a bit solo, 
just as we navigate the next three weeks here, the beginning of April and the next three weeks after that, okay? Because um, little itty bitty things can turn into big things. This is what this energy brings in, but it's also good stuff that's happening at the same time. As long as you know that there's this other energy there, let's just not interact with that and keep with the good stuff. This is what spirit gods are really wanting you to do here. Um, the other thing is you're highly intuitive. Um, that connection for you, there's a lot of knowledge and that came through the seven of pentacles, but it's also coming through this card, that ancestral knowledge, the Akashic records, um, even the information that spirit guides channeling, like deities that are channeling through you as well. I feel there's a lot of different kinds of energies coming through animal spirit energy. And um, it's bringing you guidance. It's almost like you're able to see through uh, a different kind of lens, almost like a higher lens. Um, I feel some of you are feeling the energy of your higher self here. And this is your higher self bringing in messages because your higher self has already walked through this path so that guidance is coming in, helping and supporting you and guiding you through how to walk through this energy. So allow and allow this energy to enter your life, but be open to it, um, especially through quieting out that noise. Self-care here is going to be important. So whether you're traveling because you're going on vacation, um, just be mindful of the energies around. But also, I feel there's some connections coming in for you, Libra, where you're meant to actually connect with one person that's going to connect you to another. So there's some links that are happening for some of you through this energy as well. Have some healthy boundaries up with people you know that drain your energy and align yourself with the people that actually don't, that uplift your energy, that are more in tune with you and your frequency here, Libra. I just feel there's something really powerful happening. And I feel that that guidance, like they're, they're channeling some major light through you right now, Libra. So pay attention to everything that is coming into your life right now. Okay, and commit yourself to your goals. Have that laser focus and stay hold that focus as long as you can this month all right so what we're going to do is pull a bonus card for you from the animal or the spirit animals oracle card deck i'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook so this comes with an oracle message and a protection message i'm going to read them both to you today all right so those of you that are seeing animals or insects in your life this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today anything that i have missed uh, or spirit wants to share more with you is going to come through this card. So I already have one card that fell out for you. It's called Armadillo Spirit. We have the number three on this card. So perhaps you're seeing the number three or an armadillo. This is your confirmation. If you haven't seen these, you're seeing them now on your screen and perhaps you're going to see them. We have set healthy boundaries. This is in alignment with the seven of wands. Uh, external energies is what I'm getting here as well. So now let's look at the number here. The number three is about communication. It's about expansion. Communication here is going to be very important for you. Speak your truth. Don't hide that truth. If you need to speak something, speak it. Three days, three weeks, three months and around the message of this card for you. External energies, things are going to feel like they're chaotic, but it's a happening mostly. It's just, I feel a lot of it's on the internet, be mindful of the energies you are taking in online. This is what they're wanting me to share here with you. That online energy can be very chaotic. So the oracle message for you, Libra, is learning to set healthy boundaries is the gift of armadillo spirit. You are entering a phase where in order for you to be in alignment with your intentions and co-create your best life, you may have to be discerning and say no to many things that may have been okay for you in the past. Um, this also means that you need to learn where you end and where others begin. What is yours to own and what is not. Know your limits and understand that it isn't empowering to choice. It's not an empowering choice to say no to what doesn't feel right. Armadillo Spirit is here to tell you it's time to be honest with yourself about what you really want, Libra. Be clear on what you are agreeing to, declare what your needs are, and say no as a full sentence. These are acts of respect and kindness to others as well as yourself. 
trust your body's signals and you know, you will know what to do. Armadillo Spirit guides you in making good decisions that are grounded in a strong sense of what belongs to you and what does not. And you know, this knowing, these signals, it's that light around your head, Libra, that's coming through this card. Okay, you have this sense, you have this knowing. So the protection message for you today is, this is a tricky time as you may find yourself enmeshed with others, overly concerned with how they will take it if you say no or express how you really feel. Do you feel anxious saying no to someone? So you can catapult, so, sorry, so you can capitulate. I think that's the word, even knowing the outcome will not be in your best interest. Do you feel like it's your job to stop someone from facing their challenges? Instead, you might take on their responsibility, rescuing them instead of giving them the freedom to learn their lessons their way. Perhaps you feel that if you only knew how much you care, only if they knew how much you cared, they would change and then all, all would be well. Armadillo Spirit asks you to be honest with yourself and others, no matter how difficult that may be or how you may fear losing someone or something. Face your fear, Libra. Tell the truth and set your boundaries. You will be amazed at the miracles that happen when you let Armadillo Spirit protect you from taking on too much, becoming a people pleaser, and losing your integrity. Another message of protection from Armadillo Spirit is to relax, live, and let live. If you or someone else is being defensive, you are called to step back and trust in Spirit's plan. All right, this is the overall energy with everything that is going on with us cause, uh, in the cosmos here. So don't react to some of those energies. Sometimes it's better just to take a step back, okay? So Armadillo Spirit here for you, Libra. I'm now going to pull a angel number, an angel number for you. So those of you that are uh, seeing repeating numbers or angel numbers in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. So big decisions, that's showing up most definitely here through the two of wands. So some of you are making big decisions in your life and again, uh, making higher self choices or decisions. What is it that you want? Don't worry about the noise outside of you. You decide on what you want here, Libra. We've got a bunch of zeros, so if you're seeing zeros in your life, this is your confirmation. The message on this card is you are getting a new perspective. All right, you're going to see things through a different lens here. There's a giving and there's a receiving energy at play as well for you. So what, it, what kind of energy are you giving out there because you're going to receive, receive the same energy back. There's an endless flow full of possibilities for you. So open yourself up and embrace those possibilities. Libra, this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below. And uh, if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.